Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Rule the Waves as the United States Navy, episode number 33. So it's been a very, very long slog. I would call this the endless battle. Um, it was a, I think it's, things are starting to settle down. The dust is starting to settle. We're starting to see which ships will and will not make it. And last video, the last episode, we did have some pretty negative events happen in terms of decisively losing two ships. The potent Terrapin is in fact going to sink in the Providence. Definitely going down herself. These are already beyond the point of saving. So crews are getting to the ship, I mean, uh, lifeboats. And I mentioned it last time that this, the waters would just be swimming with, with sailors, I imagine at this point. I mean, you lose this many ships, the, it's a huge ocean. I mean, this is miles and miles of of ocean in this little area right here. I mean, we can see that I have selected, let's select something near the middle, um, the Perkins. From the Perkins, we have, this is a, like a hundred, I would say this is like a hundred square nautical miles of battle zone, which is incredible to think about that much. That's much area. I mean, it's not, that. that's probably normal for a battle, but just trying to imagine all the, the carnage being compressed into this area uh, all the oil on the waters, the flames, the sailors, everything. Anyway, a lot of shipwrecks too, a lot of wreckage. Uh, okay, so that said, we, we had the Providence, who I'm going to use this play on words, did not have any, it was, it was pretty much providential she gets sunk because three torpedoes were enough to do her in. Her battle damage is uh, mostly due to these heavy hits, but the three torpedoes is 100% guaranteed i mean it conclusively can we can say that it was the reason why she was sunk so now uh the crews are getting to the lifeboats they'll uh join the carnage on the seas but luckily they're kind of in a good vicinity we have a lot of american ships nearby and certainly we'll prioritize picking up um our own soldiers and i would imagine i mean this is all role played but um it, we probably being so close to boston uh let's see how I mean, 35 nautical miles is one hell of a swim. <laughs> I don't think many people are going to swim that distance. I could give them probably five nautical miles you could do, but even that, that would be difficult. Maybe if you disrobed. We have to hope that there's no... Uh, what are the sea conditions? Overcast. Winds are calm, so maybe the sea conditions aren't too bad, but... Okay, so anyways, let, I know that this uh, battle, this episode will be the last one for this battle, so I guess I'm kind of teasing it out too much. Let's move forward a little more. I don't even know what's going on, so same as always, pretty much. This Elsk is sinking. This Bulwark class is still alive, I believe. Yeah, this is just the, the ship that keeps going, but I haven't seen her return fire. Oh, oh, actually, speak of the devil. She's firing at, her bear, at the berry. Uh, that's something we can handle. The QAnon has taken a hit from this illustrious and actually it disabled her turret. Which illustrious is this? Ah, okay. Doesn't look like that's where she's shooting, but well. I, I don't know what to make of that. <laughs> Alright, so we have the Kale class being uber destroyed and I don't know why they keep targeting this one it's definitely dead and there's a few over here that I think are not dead like this kale is still alive so that would be a great target I'd like to even get the Arcadia to pin that one down is this rifleman sinking it is now um you know what I might have to retest these new havens they certainly aren't uh the the best ship to be taking care of a, an enemy an enemy destroyer, but um, I'm just I would like to eliminate every single destroyer so we have to face less of them in the future. Uh, this is another one with heavy damage, but it's still alive. So the Usk is, looks like the best. The Kale has a, a very threatening amount of torpedoes, but the Usk is superior. So uh, a Kale then Usk in terms of hierarchy. 
what else do we have? Oh, and the how is thinking, okay, so what, what am I trying to do? Let's try to get back into the action here. Let's put our light cruisers, let's run them back into the action. Um, they've been, they've performed outstandingly. They are the reason the how is sinking. Uh, with some really good contributions from the Cunningham, which I hope is going to survive. Looks like she will, even though she's, you know, pretty heavily damaged. So we'll just keep nosing her out of trouble. Um, we were engaging the indefatigable, indefa in that there I go again, indefatigable, but uh, we're probably going to let her get away. I mean, I'm I'm telling, I'm saying that we'll have the freedom chase her down a bit, but in the end, I doubt that'll actually happen. So, okay, well, I guess we'll just move another minute. So just more sinking of sinking ships. Okay, Sacramento, at this point, I think I have to give you specific orders not to target this ship. Um, yeah, let's move down here. I don't think there is, oh, I mean, there are active dreadnoughts to the southwest. Okay, if you guys can just go squad max out of the way. Arcadia, you, you don't have that many, oh, you only have one left. Destroyers are one thing, but losing one of my, this is one of the Great Lakes class, a really good class of light cruiser. Let's let's pull her away. Squad Max, give her everything you got and get her out, get her out of here. We'll do the same thing. We'll just drag these uh, ships southeast, or southwest, I mean. If they choose to pursue, we'll, we'll let it happen. I don't know if we'll end up getting to them with the uh, Battle Cruiser Division, which in theory is Probably better off targeting the Indifat taggable in, I don't know why, the Indy. <laughs> um, Lexington taking a hit from somebody. This is actually kind of important, like guns. It's amazing that we're just close enough for all this to happen still. Yeah, she's definitely, let's go squad max. Does she have her rudder? She's still jammed, but I actually want to line her up with um, the other ships so that it's not a broadside for them. Although technically she's engaging, I guess. Firing ship damage minus 40 to her chance to hit. Minus 20 from a list. Deliberate fire, which means her ammunition is down. Minus 20. I mean, her rate of fire is abysmal. Pretty bad. Still engaging at a target, which is only 3,900 away. What What the heck? Wait, why a bulwark? No. No, 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 no. Yes. Good. I'm wising up to your tricks. I'm setting both of those so that we guarantee she's targeting. Okay, so yeah. Hopefully we get that rudder repaired. It has been out for ages. Like, what, what time are we at now? 1546. I guess we're using this time, global GMT. 2046, when did this rudder get jammed? Maybe 20 minutes ago? It seems like it's been longer than that. But this is the first report I have of jammed rudder. And, okay, well, um, anyways, let's just get her to nose on with the opposing fleet. And actually, it's weird. North is our safe haven now. Pushing all these ships south, north is now the new safe haven. So, Tennessee, you guys are going to come over. I am going to push you into an uh, offensive role against these illustrious. Last Bastion, you also need to be convinced, I guess... I don't even think that this ship is sinking, but we'll let the St. Joseph take her. I instead would prefer that you focus on... The Illustrious. This one's sinking, right? Did I have... Oh, which one is she targeting? Yeah, wrong one. There, that's the one. Okay, good. 
so it's a fair distance away. Did I do the same incorrect targeting for this one? No, you're targeting the correct one. Good, good, good. And do I have to do this? Mm, yeah, you're doing that correct. And you are doing that correctly. Okay, good. That's good. So we'll bring these guys back into the action. Last Bastion will head north. How's she doing? Down below 200. Looks like she's going to make it. I'm not too worried about her anymore. So there's the last two torpedoes at the Arcadia. I was wondering how she went down from 3 to 1, but that there it is. She did launch them. Try to get these guys out of harm's way. And that just basically leaves us with this battlecruiser division, which has a, a, a real shot at hunting these guys down, or do I turn and... Okay, let's, let's figure this out. So bulwark class is being hit, sinking. How is sinking? That same damn one, and the bulwark class, which is not sinking yet, takes another hit. Jeez. <laughs> It's dead in the water. I mean, it's just waiting for any kind of torpedo, which maybe the St. Joseph can even supply. Portside in 23 minutes. Starboard. And, well, we could face the other way, but I don't think it's necessary. One of these ships may have... Nope. A torpedo. Does anybody have a torpedo? Somebody will. Sinking, I think. The Benny's not sinking. Amazing. Okay, so things are really quieting down now. It's basically all over. Indefatigable. Indefatigable. I can't remember. I'm going to have to listen to the pronunciation again. <laughs> and a few more on the bulwark. But this is, uh, this is a good hit. She's engaging the freedom as well, it looks like. She's not engaging with her forward gun. Wait, this can't be right. According to this, she's engaging a destroyer. Oh, yeah, she's definitely engaging the freedom. Okay. So her turrets are not correct, but that's okay. Right, another minute. Benny is sinking, Barry is sunk. Okay, so Yosemite took a hit. Who from? Yeah, these are illustrious. Let's not risk our good ships against ships that we're fine to take on another day. But the Freedom has actually correctly, successfully, I should say, engaged the indefatigable. Indefatigable. <laughs> the Indy. I should just call it the Indy. So we'll pull back here. We're pulling everyone north. Almost should get you to slow down. All right, Warrington, near miss, sinking kale. Okay, well, let's move on again. Um, these torpedoes did cause the British to, to change course. Another hit. Illustrious got hit as well. It's good. Lots on the Usk, but she's already sinking. Waste. Spell work. Sinking. This kale is not sinking, so that's a good hit. Let me actually identify this one. That's a good one to identify. I highly, highly doubt she has any torpedoes left, but. It's something for our um, light cruisers to make work of. So we want this kale. Yes. Please target that one. And then save the Lex. I think just go down to zero now. This is good. She's uh, nose on. I like that. I think it's a good profile for her. And we'll have to use our other ships to screen Okay, so this kale, this one might not be sinking either. It's not, so yeah, that's, that's a good catch by the Ohio. Uh, yeah, so we just have to swim through the wreckage and then, oh good, another indefatigable. Indef 
Well, they're exchanging blows now. A turret disabled on on a single hit. That's that's brutal. How class? Not important. Kale. This is the kale we. Oh well, no, nope, that one's not. I thought that one was okay, but apparently it's now sinking. So. Uh, pretty short-lived engagement. What about this usk? Yeah, this usk. Let's get this usk. Yes. Switch fire and immediately to the next ship, which may or may not be operable. Okay. Um, let's not take things too slow here. Ooh, the freedom took a hit. We'll pull the freedom back. Yeah. Real shame to to waste her without support now. And the illustrious actually landing some shots on the Kiwana. I guess we'll just fall back. We'll let all. We'll give the order to let all remaining British ships ships clear the water. Let them go. Some interesting work in the bottom there. That is not the right one. I think this is one that's, yeah, we're just sinking. Okay, good. We'll just get those guys back in the action if we can. Five inch hit, will work. This bulwark is now officially sinking. Okay, it happened. Finally happened. Okay, good. So this usk sinking. Okay, so that, that was a good turn. We verify that that ship is sinking. Okay, how are we doing here? Aelin is launching torpedoes, like at what? Stop. Don't do it. Another hit on the indefat indefatigable. <laughs> the bulwark, she's already sinking. Lots of different hits, but those don't matter. So yeah, we'll regroup. Oh boy, you I overshot, so. Oh man, that's bad. Well, we'll screen. I mean, how many torpedoes? Yeah, we have a lot of torpedoes left. Oh my gosh, we could sink some of these. Look at, I'm giving you a fair warning. If you come, you're going to be torpedoed. Same with you. She's a goner. It's crazy how this battle is still evolving. Okay. Okay, how? Freedom took a hit. Medium guns, though. We're okay with that. Husk. Kale, kale, looks like all the different. Ask, yeah, okay. Not the important ones. All right, so why are we still, who is, okay, secondaries, I can't really control that. Oh, we did get an illustrious hit, fantastic. A Mars hit? It's Bizarre, I haven't seen the Mars classes being hit for a long time. Okay, not much to report. Let's just keep nosing forward. I actually dislike that. <laughs> oh, the, tr the trip is already sinking. Okay, I was like, you know what? I did kind of dislike that this in the, the Indies going after our ships retreating to the west. So that'll be our line. We'll draw the line north, uh, southeast to northwest. We'll move northwest. And if everyone goes with us, it should be a very difficult line for the British to try to cross. We'll see if that works. Benny has sunk. Juad is launching torpedoes. Where are, in God's name, are you guys launching torpedoes? Like, hold, hold your fire. It's probably going to be like some really good stuff for you to aim at. 
Just give it some time. Let things develop. Like the Indy's turning south again, that's strange. Can't even right click on the screen without accidentally clicking on a sinking ship. Um, okay, so I see an illustrious hit by the Ohio, that's really good news as well. Same one, I believe. Uh, more sinking of destroyers, just to make sure that they're triply, quadruply dead. Yeah, okay, now, oh my gosh. Illustrious, this is music to my ears. Destroyed another turret. Some Kale class and Kale. Oh, two more illustrious. Oh, my, wow. 14 inch, 14 inch, three. And good, the India is engaged in the trip. I was hoping that would happen. Waste turret ammunition on that, which is quite good. Oh! And this battle cruiser is trying to get involved. Well. I'm not ecstatic about that. But we'll have an answer, I'm sure. <sighs> yeah, okay, well. Whoop de doo. Thanks for sinking a ship that's already sinking. It's almost a violation of, you know, the Geneva Convention to just be shooting these poor people who won't hurt. They're surrendering, obviously, and <laughs> their ship is sinking. Well, that's not true. I mean, they, I guess be, they could be discharging firearms at our dreadnought <laughs> as she goes by. Another 12 inch hit on this, you know, this guy, this illustrious may end up not surviving. And the fact that this Indy were still running her ragged, keeping her at high speeds, it, it's, a, it's a good thing. This is not a good thing. Okay, let's move forward. Ah, uh, bridge damaged. Well, we'll get you out of the way. We're just gonna make you run you back to port. We're gonna run you back to port, definitely. We'll give the battlecruiser division a chance shoot at the Indy on their way out. <sighs> it's still kind of difficult. How do you manage this? Okay, go to zero. Like, and please unjam your rudder. That's my request. So you are moving at 10. Let's get a little bit closer. Kale. Kale, different one work how Europa that's a name we haven't seen for a while she's not officially sinking but she's not moving she has heavy damage I, I think she's sinking she might even have an electrical power outage be fun to see what the Europa class what was going on with her for so long because she's effectively I mean technically not sinking okay that's uses wait key went on okay we need you guys to focus fire here this is important. Wait. Yeah, it says you are engaging them. Then Kiwana, what? What is your problem? Why can't you be like the others? Just hit the damn target I, I command you to hit. It's an order. It's a command. <laughs> it's not a recommendation. Okay. Okay, Kibana is still hitting the bulwark, but now with her secondaries, so she's living up to her orders, just defying it in a different way. Uh, we had another hit on the Freedom, but nothing damaging, nothing penetrating. Uh, and lots more destroyers just getting destroyed, triply destroyed, quadruply destroyed, etc. Potent Terrapin is still up, by the way, still not sinking. She may draw the fire of this battlecruiser. In fact, I think she is. Um, I saw St. Joseph reattached and then took the orders of, of the Providence. Don't want that. Providence has been detached because she's sinking. Hopefully that doesn't happen every turn. Okay. So now is probably about the time where we turn. This inconstant is already sinking, so we lined up the shots now. 
They've, they've gotten a few hits in. Ah, oh, the trip has sunk now. Damn. She was a good little decoy. Yeah, another hit on this one. She is... St nope, still at two turrets. Is Kale being hit? Different Kale. Same one as the first. How? Freedom take another hit. Uh, Bulwark, Europa. I mean, she's not technically dead, so... I don't want to say don't target her, but I would prefer we target the, the more active ships. Oh, the St. Louis has detached, okay. That's fine. That actually is fine with me. You have four torpedoes. We'll probably use you to spread to fire a spread at these illustrious class. Yeah, okay. So th things are okay. The mop-up crew for the British is going to get involved, it looks like. Oh, this is good. See, this is what I want. This rifle... Ah, oh, that rifleman's sinking. Never mind. It's not what I want. Nothing interesting that turn, actually. So we'll just keep plugging. Okay, let's get these guys to bend. Home. Backing off. Okay, that's a lot of secondaries. Anything landing? Okay, just a Europa hit. Wait, is she moving? She is. Ah, whoa, interesting. Illustrious hit. We're gonna line up those shots pretty soon here. I don't like that. We'll get, let's get even closer. Just go right at him. In fact, the Europa would be much much more worthy target. In fact, Juet, you have been tasked with a purpose now. Bainbridge would just be a smoke smoke deployment assistant, so we'll send her back down. I think Joseph is actually still pretty active. I mean, in a weird way, she's one of our best ships. <laughs> Most uh, battle-worthy ships right now. Despite her low speed, she has four turrets available, and she also has... Uh, I'm actually going to get her to stop firing for a bit because she's just wasting her ammunition. So let's get her to stop firing for 10 minutes and we'll get her to focus on the Europa eventually. So this is really surprising to me that the Europa suddenly is now active. It's kind of terrifying. She still has 16 inch guns. Uh, yeah, let's, let's do it this way. Target the Europa. I'll, I'll let you choose. Like, you're technically targeting the Illustrious, which is fine, so. I didn't give direct orders to, wait, no. Oh. I didn't give direct orders to the St. Louis to target somebody, so she's targeting somebody she shouldn't. What's more, we can't give her orders. Oh, boy, that's not ideal. How class looks like it's spinning too. Okay, so Yosemite was hit by the Indy and a bunch of other things which don't matter. Okay. Let's see, is she spinning? She is. She's sinking though. Yes. Let's pick up. Well, that might not be a good decision. We'll risk it anyway. It's the American way. Risk ourselves for our. Leave no man behind. Lustrous hit, which is good to see. Yeah, we are kind of pushing them southwest. As long as the Arcadia can get out of there in time, <laughs> that's fine. Um, the Indy's heading south, so they're kind of consolidating. I think it's because of the threat of this light cruiser. So we're going to actually head right at the Europa and launch from our port side right as we pass her. We're going to pass her just to the right and then launch to the left. Okay, so keep going, I guess. I hit on the Indy, which is wonderful. No hits on the uh, Europa, but I guess it won't matter very soon anyway. And what's actually perfect is it's getting to be evening, and this is an inflexible class. Let's look at this. 
Uh, it's nothing we really need to worry about. In fact, it'd be a, a fine target, but it'll be a fine target for the future. So the evening is settling in, which is pretty appropriate timing. Hopefully we get all our ships home though. That's still the risk. Start turning. How's your flooding? Ah, oh, you're down to zero. So squad max then, even if it does re-trigger your bul uh, bulkheads, we just need to get you into port and then you won't sink. So I didn't really look at the last one. We had probably, oh, illustrious, another illustrious hit, which is great. We do enough damage, maybe she doesn't make it. I think she will though. They always do. Okay, the Ohio, no, don't target that, target. Ah, you no longer have vision. Well, you know what? Then just hold fire for 10 minutes as well. We don't need you targeting these sinking ships. We really don't. And the ten Tennessee is ready to go. Yeah, it really doesn't have that much damage either. She's like, put me in, coach. So we'll charge with the Tennessee. She's doing so well that uh, well, at least we don't have to worry about being hit by torpedoes at this point, right? Just start getting everyone else to start making their way towards the point over there. Okay, let's go advance. Whoa. Oh, no, 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 no. Like, look at, deploy smoke, but get, go north. Well, the Europa is now getting pummeled. I don't think we have to worry about her. We destroyed another turret. So, you know what? Let's push a little bit more. That's the Indy. Let's push on the Indy. We're about to have really bad conditions, um, which will favor this little attempt to launch a few torpedoes. Yeah, I mean, these uh, light battlecruisers are just tearing the Europa apart as we go by. So that's good news. Um, I think, I'm just guessing that these other hits on the Europa are, are gonna end up doing her in. Still, what do we have? Do we have any, do we have any starboard side? No, don't have a single one. That is interesting. I think we're going to do her in just with guns. Another one. Another one. Okay. You also will wait 10 minutes because you're not being wise with your guns. Illustrious. So this is actually kind of nice. We might be able to light them on fire. You never know. Maybe one of those penetrates. We're pretty damn close. Like, let's just even look at this. I think it could be interesting. Uh, we don't have quality one six inch guns. That's probably not helping, but range is 3,300. We're penetrating about probably eight, maybe nine inches. So, oh, well, you yeah, know, there you go. It's a lighter ship than I expected. So some of those could be penetrating. Port side, we have to make sure we get port side of these ships if we want to sink them though. That's the weird thing because we only have torpedoes on our port side. Yeah, boy, Europa is gonna go down. Yeah, there it is, officially it's over for her. I'm glad we didn't waste any torpedoes. It ended up being a good decision. Okay, Iroquois, just keep heading north. We'll get the this one light cruiser group to pursue and the rest are just gonna be heading home as fast as possible. And we'll divert ships forward and backward as like sheepdog where we need to. Lex, have you? You have. You fixed your effing rudder. Amazing. 
Squad max home, please. Tennessee charging, I like that. I do like that. You know your target as well, right? Good, good. The Tennessee is a ship that needs no... Oh my god. Damn it, just when I thought. Maybe we had one sensible ship of the lot. Ah, okay. Europa is now sinking. Yeah, this is... Let's just uh, hold fire for 10 minutes. Port side, illustrious, could actually gun after this Mars class too. But it's 18-2. I'm not sure which one I, I fear more. Probably oh, you know what they're they're just they're just different. This one has better armor, lower deck. Higher caliber, less guns, less tonnage, more tonnage, more guns, lower, uh, cheaper guns, worse secondaries, nine inch belt versus, it was, it was like 10 and a half and 11 or something like that. 10, 10 and a half versus nine, 10. Yeah, so it's kind of a tough call. I don't think it really matters. We'll just, we'll pursue both. And we'll see where, we'll just let uh, the opportunity present itself to us. We'll, t we'll take whatever we can. Okay, good. Duet doesn't need to launch hers anymore. Okay, that's a lot of fire on the inconstant who's already sinking, but fair enough. The Mars class has actually become a target of opportunity, I think, for the battle cruisers. So we will actually go ahead and gun them down. Gun her down. St. Louis as well. And even the St. Joseph can contribute. For another 10 minutes, don't just hold your fire. Now, assuming that the Mars gets taken care of, these guys will still go after this illustrious. This Indy, I think she's going to get away. Okay. Oh, another hit on the illustrious, but no, wait. Yes, a good hit on this illustrious. Ah, maybe we'll get her after all. And if I was this Mars, I would just be crying right now, looking at this convergence of ships upon us. It's not gonna not gonna go well for her. Pretty pretty clear. Let's uh switch fire to the Mars class. The lack of vision actually helps. There's only so many ships you can target. Okay, so switch. Oh, nice. We're really, we're getting in quite a few shots. Uh, the Ohio firing. Okay, look at just hold fire for ten minutes. By t in ten minutes, we'll give you another target. Okay. You're up getting blasted. That's a moot point now, anyway. Okay, illustrious taking more hits. And nothing on this Mars class yet. Well, Juet, I guess you're. Where do you need? Where do you have them? Center line and starboard. Okay, well that's gonna work perfectly. If the Mars class keeps heading this direction, we'll send you down to uh, launch your launch your torpedoes. Ah, good. So Mars hits now. <laughs> yeah, as I said, I would be terrified if this is Mars class. Suddenly you're just in the mix of it. And this ship is really getting hunted. Truly getting hunted down. She doesn't have the speed to run away. Even the Tennessee is catching up to her. Which is, yeah, terrifying for them. Yeah, we got her. We're basically reeling her in. Um, no Mars class hits in this, uh... Ah, St. Louis? Yeah, she's, she's okay. We'll use her. Maybe the Tennessee... Um... 
Look at this. We have a Kale class which has survived somehow, way over attacking the potent Terrapin. <laughs> oh, excuse me. That's interesting. Oh, this one's definitely gonna. I don't think she's gonna make it. I really want to get this Mars class now. I mean, I'm just I'm very greedy, but when the. Okay, let's. I mean, when the opportunity presents itself. Ooh. Okay, now, oh, I was looking at this. The Mars class actually was able to return some fire and destroyed one of the turrets on our, on our cruisers. Yeah, we don't want to lose any uh, ability to launch torpedoes. I think we can just gun this. Oh, she's already sinking. Okay, fantastic. Okay, switch fire to the Mars. We'll do that twice just to make sure. Okay, let's try to sink to one more. Yeah, it's it's not gonna go well for her. Now uh, we're starting to suppress her, land the hits. Nothing but nothing but enemy ships ships being hit. Potent Terrapin still being attacked by this kale. I wish I would have gotten to that one. I didn't even see that one. I probably thought she was dead. Somehow I'm sure our tech ships must have attacked everything but that one. And this one's already sinking. My god, that was extremely quick. Okay. To home we go. Now this is the interesting part where we'll have to actually be careful about um, this ship right here. So, St. Louis, how good were you doing? Pretty good. Link up with the Tennessee. I don't think I want to risk the Yosemite. Well, we need all able-bodied ships. In some sense, that should include now the freedom's still um, leaking, so we'll get her into port. Alright, here we go. That's the Indy. That makes this the other illustrious class. So the Tennessee can take care of her. We don't actually want my light cruisers leading the way. Why, why can you not target this ship? <laughs> How about now? Impressive. Really impressive that we're not allowed to target that one. I don't know why they're targeting us. There we go. It's imperative that you target that because that is the Indy. Did hit her. Ooh. How the hell is this thing? It's just way outside of. Oh, no, it's not outside of vision range. We identified this as the illustrious. Can the Tennessee finally return fire? Look at all these unidentified ships. Oh, my God. Oh, no, never mind. That's their unidentified ship divisions. Okay. Something different. That's the one. That's the one. Could launch our torpedoes here. I don't think we're going to get the Indy. It would force some action out of this illustrious. Got another, another hit on this BB, but only one. Um, last Bastion looks like her 
10 minute timer is over, so let's give her and the Ohio another 10 minute timer. I mean, we're slowly clearing the waters. We're slowly pushing our forces west, except for this lone Bainbridge, who I think is supposed to be supporting these ships. So we'll get her back down here. Okay, move on. Yeah, that's a battle cruiser and that's a dreadnought. What the hell dreadnought is that? Because if that's the Indy, then I'm completely mistaken in what I was trying to do here. Okay, um... Well, first let's engage this, yeah, illustrious, good. Could this in fact be a seven parter? It shouldn't have been, but this has, I mean, I'm kind of just pushing the envelope here. Could just as easily launch right now as not. Yeah, we're, we're committing, we're slowly committing to this. Austin, we don't care. Who's firing? Oh. Well, hold fire for 10 minutes as well, I guess. <laughs> Didn't even think you could shoot, but okay, this is good. This is what we wanted to see. A few hits on this of new illustrious that's appearing. And that's also an illustrious. So that is the Indy. Is her rudder damaged or something? Like, her behavior is a little bit strange to me. You guys, I guess, switch targets to the nearest illustrious. Okay, we are taking some hits now. But, yeah, that's some good damage on the illustrious. Four, four 15 inch shells. Oh, I should say one 15 inch shell, three 14 inch shells. And these are really old ships that, I mean, any one of those can be enough to do her in. I think which most interests me is this Indy. Like, what is she doing? Okay, now this illustrious is just dead. <laughs> she walked right into the Tennessee. The Tennessee's lining up her shots. She's getting them, really landing them. How is the St. Louis doing? St. Joseph is actually contributing, but to the wrong target. So, okay, we did land a 15-inch hit as well. So the St. St. Louis is still doing well as well. I think I'm going to spin the St. Louis just to keep her north with the other ships. We're, we're making our way home. This is this is great. Okay, but somehow this is actually going to be a seven-parter. <laughs> I mean, I'm advancing a little bit too quickly, but... Ah, this is interesting. So if we come into contact with a ship... The torpedo ships will be the ones to, to do the damage. Everyone else is going to head north. We're going to try to ball up, head north, and let's make it back to port. But this is another very long episode, so that's going to do it. We're going to wrap her up here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you back for, I'm sure, will be the exciting conclusion. Exciting only because it'll be really exciting to see what the final score is. So until then, thanks for watching and take care.